Okay, so some glucose and ketone uh, tracking. This is the Freestyle Optium Neo. Uh, this is available in the UK. I'm not sure if it's available in the US. It's very similar to the uh, Freestyle Precision Extra. Same company, Abbott's um, details in this post about where to get all of those. So it's very simple to use. Um, first of all, you just press on and it comes on. And then we've got to uh, put our slips in, testing strips. So I'm putting this down here. And now I'm going to show you, this is the glucose testing strip. So there's one for each. The other one, this is the blue glucose one. And this is the purple one, my favorite color, which is for the ketones. So I will start with the glucose. Um, part of that is because these are cheaper, and if I'm messing up, I'm not able to get blood out of my finger, then I'd rather mess one of these up first than the uh, ketone one, because they're more expensive. So to open this, you see the diagonal there and the vertical. You want to pull it from this side so that the right end comes out, that you can slot into the little device. So you see the little bars there? You're going to fit those into the device here. And I just keep it in the in the packet, slot it in, and you can go blank, and then you see that little drop which indicates it's ready to take blood. Now I get the, the little device here to prick your finger. I put a new a new needle in these every single day. Um, you want to do that. They're very cheap, so it doesn't matter. Then I press hard against my finger. I'm, I'm using one of two fingers all the time. And click to create some blood. And then I press it to pull the blood out here. Okay, you need a little bit. You need a little bit less for the glucose than the ketone stick. So then I'm going to show you how this fills up here. You can see that it's slowly filling up that little white thing. And when it's full, it starts counting down because it's got enough and you know it's okay. So let's look at that. So right now my blood glucose is 3.6. This little red marker is showing that it's too low. But of course, I've been fasting for uh, nearly four days now, so um, mine is really low because my ketones are really high. So I've become a ketone, more of a ketone burner than a glucose burner due to my fasting state. So you don't have to worry about this. Okay, when you've finished, you just pull it out. And it resets the machine, the device, and we're ready to do the ketone. Again, we pull from the straight edge perpendicular to the edge so that we have the bars at the top of it then we can just slot it in easily into the device now you can mess up the strips um, by messing around with this end. I have done that before. So that's why you want to be careful when you're slotting in, especially on the ketone ones, because they're so expensive. Now I'm going to prick my finger again. I'm going to do it on my second, my third finger. So I do my glucose on this finger and then my ketones here. And I have to make sure that I get enough blood. This one requires a bit more blood, so I'm going to make sure I've got more blood before I start. And then we'll see how this goes. This little white thing at the end again has to fill up. So you can see it fills up, fills up, fills up, fills up. There you go. And those bars indicate that it's good. And it takes a little bit longer. It takes 10 seconds to reveal the ketone results. As you can see, the red bar is full at the bottom there. So 5.9. Minimals, so that's pretty high. 
So this is how to use your blood monitor. And you just, of course, throw all this stuff in the trash. In the stat, in you throw all of this stuff in the trash. Keep it safe. Um, I find this device really easy. It also has a, a Windows interface you can use. I got Mac, so I'm not using that. I find it fine just to put these values into Excel. That that does me, but it has a memory to store them also. So it's very straightforward to use. And